Everybody, Bob Sekoler, Sekoler Medley Team, Remax Properties East, with an update on what's happening in the Louisville area housing market for April. It's spectacular. It is hotter than we have ever seen it before. We go ahead and measure the number of homes that are selling by what's called the absorption rate. That is, if we turn off the faucet right now and no other homes went on the market, how long would it take for the homes that are on the market to be absorbed or bought by a buyer? It takes into account buyer activity, the number of homes coming on the markets, and the number of homes going under contract. And as of right now, and I've never seen this before, in some price ranges, basically the $100,000, $200,000 up to $300,000, the absorption rate is down to 1.1 months supply. Now let's review that for a second. If the absorption rate was six months or more, it would be a firm buyer's market. If the absorption rate was, and you can see my phone's working off the hook, if the absorption rate Some Caleb and it was, and there goes my audio book, if the absorption rate was between five and six months supply, and then we'd be in a neutral market. But a five month supply or less, and we are now dealing with a firm seller's market. And when you drop down to a 1.1 month supply, you're dealing with an incredible seller's market. So what does that mean for sellers? Well, even a four or $500,000 home is still in a seller's market. But when you get down to a 1.1 month supply or a two or three month supply, as those are and up to about a $500,000 or six or $700,000 home, you're talking about being able to put a home on the market for a little more money and then getting a buyer in there and purchase rather quickly within a couple of weeks at most. We're finding in a couple of days or less, we're selling homes in the $100,000 to $300,000 price range. They just sell quickly because of the number of buyers out there. And if you're a buyer, you're probably thinking, yeah, I've had that problem, so what do I do? Okay, so look, first of all, if you're thinking of selling, now's the time to do it because there are a lot of homes that are in the four, five, six, seven hundred thousand that are not as hot, and you can buy those now and maybe even get a good deal on them. But the other thing that you need to know is if you are a buyer, there are a lot of buyers who are on the market and coming onto the market, and it's very possible that you'll be up against these other buyers in making an offer for a house. So let me give you a little extra strategy as a buyer. And just know we've got 17 buyer agents that are out there that are very happy to help you. They can jump when you need it to get to see the home that you want uh, very quickly in the same day, that morning, whenever. We are using what's called the escalation clause with a cap. Okay, so buyers, remember this. Sellers know this was approved by the Greater Louisville Association of Board of Realtors last year or maybe the late the year before. An escalation clause with a cap basically works this way, buyers, and this is why you have an advantage. Let's just say, for example, that the price of the home is $200,000. And you go in at a strong $200,000, but you know there are other buyers, you know it's a hot house. So you say in the offer that you are willing to have an escalation clause of $1,000 over the seller's best other offer, that's the escalation clause, $1,000 over, up to, say, it's $215,000. That's the cap. So what you're able to do without really doing anything is by putting this terminology into a contract, you know that the escalation clause is going to be $1,000 over the uh, other seller's best offer and up to $215,000. Now, naturally, it has to appraise for value. Regardless of whether you're a buyer or a seller, appraisers hold the cards this day and age thanks to a ruling back in 2012 by the Obama administration and the large banks. They created this scenario where, tr quite frankly, the appraisers have been given the keys to the castle. Get it? So this still has to appraise, but this gives you a jump on other buyers who are working with agents who never heard of an escalation clause with a cap. And those of you who watch this video, you know who you are. You need to learn about this stuff because you're really, really letting your buyers down when you don't use it. It works. One caveat on this, okay? 
if the house is listed at 200000 and you go in, say you're thinking, maybe I can get a good deal on it, even though it's a hot house. I'll go in at one hundred and eighty or 190000 We are seeing, in many cases, where the seller says, you know what? The heck with that buyer. They don't even think the house is worth 200000 I'm not even going to entertain that offer, period. Right. Also there goes my between the phones detail about Thomas between the phones and my mm -hmm. um, my audio book which I listen to in the car it's constantly ringing okay so the, the key here is don't go in at two hundred thousand a two hundred thousand dollar home in a one hundred and eighty thousand offer with an escalation clause and a cap because it's possible that the seller is going to become insulted very possible seller becomes insulted and then bam you're out, the seller won't even deal with you, and someone else who maybe, maybe they only come in at 205000 without an escalation clause and a cap, but the seller was so insulted with your offer, they'd rather take less money. Believe it or not, it's emotional sometimes. It should be business, but it is emotional sometimes. They take less money, and they feel better that they're working with somebody who thought the house was worth that $205,000. Come in at what it's offered on the, on the MLS, then the escalation clause and the cap, and there's no guarantee, but it does give you a better chance than someone who comes in with just a straight offer. So here's what we've talked about, just summing it up, takeaways for all of you. The absorption rate, we measure it, and by the way, we have a weekly chart that comes out by price range for absorption rate. So if by chance you want it, send me an email, bob at wesellouisville.com, and just say absorption rate, uh, or weekly chart. I'll know what that is and I'll send it out to you. If you want more information about an escalation clause with a cap, we actually have some great language. So those of you who are agents who are watching this, send me an email and I'll send you the language. For those of you who are buyers, buyers work with an agent who knows about it or just call us because our agents, we train on that every week about getting our buyers the best deal for their money. If you want information, want to call me, need something please don't hesitate to feel free to call 502-376-5483. That's 502-376-5483. I'm just pulling into my parking spot at REMAX Properties East. Have a great month. We'll talk to you soon. Call me anytime and just know we are here for you. Bob Sokoler, Sokoler Medley Team, REMAX Properties East.